Hello chess lovers, let's have a look at another game played by Alpha Zero. This time this intelligent creature is on the black side. And the question arises, which openings does it prefer with the black pieces? Now it turns out that in the early games Alpha Zero was quite enthusiastic about playing the French defense, but after two hours began to play it less and less. The Karokan defense fared a good deal better until gradually it was also filtered out. So far we have only two games where Alpha Zero is playing with the black pieces and believe it or not but it chooses the Berlin defense. Let's see how it goes. Stockfish 8 started with e4 and e5 by Alpha Zero, Knight f3, Knight c6, Bishop b5, Stockfish goes for the Spanish game and Knight f6. Alpha Zero goes for Berlin defense, which has a reputation of a very solid and drawish looking opening. And for its solidity, it is also called the Berlin Wall. d3 by Stockfish, this move is known as the Steinitz move, with which he scored many spectacular successes during his long reign as a world champion. Bishop c5, Bishop takes c6, d takes c6, white castles. The main move is Bishop g4, but Alpha 0 chooses Knight d7, Knight d2, black castles. Now the main move in this position for white is Knight c4, attacking the pawn on e5. But in this position, instead of playing Knight c4, Stockfish 8 played Queen e1. I suppose this is a novelty and honestly it's not quite clear the idea hidden behind this move. f6 by alpha 0 and only now white plays knight c4. Rook f7, a4, bishop f8, king h1, knight c5, a5, knight e6, and Stockfish 8 made a very courageous decision. It captured on e5, exchanging the knight with two pawns. f takes e5, knight takes e5, rook f6, knight g4, rook f7, knight e5, and alpha 0 decided not to repeat the moves and played rook e7. And now Stockfish 8 is also playing a6. Damaging queenside pawn structure. Now of course b takes a6 can't be played because of this knight takes c6 forking the queen and the rook. After a6 we see c5, f4, queen e8, a takes b7, bishop takes b7. And by capturing on b7 white is damaging the pawn structure creating this weaknesses pawn islands. Queen a5, knight d4, queen c3. Rook e6, bishop e3, rook b6, knight c4 and rook b4. Typical engine like maneuver. As you know engines like activating their queens or rooks and penetrate opponent's camp. Of course from a human perspective this may seem dangerous because at any moment your queen or rook can be trapped. But of course we are dealing with engines which can calculate all the possible lines. We see b3 and an interesting decision by alpha 0 a5. Honestly, I don't think that any grandmaster would give up his pawn like this. Rook takes a5, rook takes a5, knight takes a5, bishop a6, bishop takes d4, rook takes d4, knight c4, rook d8, g3, h6, queen a5, bishop c8, Queen takes c7. Now as you can see white has 4 pawns against a bishop, but is this enough to win the game? Bishop h3, rook g1, rook d7, queen e5. White is offering an exchange of queens going for an endgame. Queen takes e5, knight takes e5, rook a7. But now this rook is going to penetrate white's camp. g5, rook c1, bishop g7, knight e5, rook a8. Knight f3, bishop b2, rook b1, bishop c3, knight g1, bishop d7, knight e2, bishop d2, rook d1, bishop e3, king g2, bishop g4, rook e1. Looks like white has no definite idea how to proceed with the game. Bishop d2, rook f1, and there it goes. Finally, we see rook a2 eyeing on c2 square. Alpha 0 is not hurrying 
to capture on e2. Because if bishop takes e2, then rook f2 winning back the piece. That's why we see rook a2, h3, and only now alpha 0 is capturing on e2. Rook f2, bishop takes f4, rook takes e2, bishop e5, rook f2, and now black is starting to centralize his king. King g7, g4, bishop d4, rook e2, king f6. Now this king is going to penetrate white's camp, this is going to be catastrophic and white decides to play e5, give up this pawn, trying somehow to stop this king. King f3, rook a1, rook f2, rook e1, king g2 check, bishop f4, c3, rook c1, d4, rook takes c3, d takes c5, rook takes c5, b4, rook c3, white is just making moves in desperation, gradually black is putting more and more pressure, king f6, king f2, bishop e5, rook a2, trying to create some counterplay, but already it's over, rook a6 check, king e7, rook a5, king e6, and after rook a6 check, bishop d6, stockfish a2 resigned, stockfish is going to lose one more pawn and it's over, this is just winning for black. In this game we saw no impressive sacrifices by alpha 0 and that's reasonable. This was Berlin defense, we witnessed positional chess by this monster, it just used that inaccurate knight sacrifice by Stockfish and gradually by intensifying the pressure won the game. I hope that you enjoyed this game, your questions please and thanks for watching, good luck.